Vintage versus new power amplifiers. Okay, Jamie in Toronto calls, or calls, <laughs> he called up on the phone. Jamie in Toronto writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, a week ago you put out a video about recapping a vintage Carver M40 amplifier. In that video, you claimed it was a better investment to buy a new one rather than recapping the old one. And you also claimed, oh boy, see, I get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie heard me say this stuff, and now I'm in trouble. <laughs> God. Um, you also claim that for the same price of the recap, a new of equal recap value would blow the socks off the old carver. Whoa! I'm very curious about this. Why? Well, what makes it sound better? Which one? I, I always believed you could get more for your money in the vintage market, and that the law of diminishing returns kicks in in a certain point. Indeed it does. If that's not true, when all of us vintage nuts have been barking up the wrong tree, Jamie. <laughs> well, all right, Jamie. Um, well, first off, you can do extremely well in the vintage market. I mean, hi-fi equipment generally doesn't hold its price very well. So the used market is great. And you can go out and buy, you know, something that would have cost like, like, you know, a, a, a pair of Mark Levinson amplifiers or a, or a Carver or whatever. I just would distinguish between when you say vintage, if it's so old that you have to start recapping it, we're talking about a 20 or 30 year old, maybe 40 year old amplifier. Because that's generally how long you've got, 20, 20 years. You know, and you shouldn't start worrying about it. So it's kind of like <laughs> Terry and I are just, you know, we always think of ourselves as much younger or older, depending on, you know, where you are in life than we really are. Like I still think I'm in my 30s. Maybe, maybe I've hit 40. And I'm 72 years old, coming up on 73, right? So I'm elderly and I'm thinking, Holy crap, holy. Me, elderly? Yeah, well, you know, I got my COVID shot because I'm elderly. And I can run circles around a lot of guys 20 years younger than me, okay? So I don't think of myself as elderly, but in the, <laughs> in the same vein, I, I, I would have to just define vintage. So I think what I was referring to or talking about was something like maybe the Bob Carver design, like the phase linears. A phase linear 400 at one point was a great amplifier. Today, pfft, a sprout will sound better. So as we go back in time with amplifiers, yes, there were some classic ones that have a great sound. But generally speaking, a modern amplifier from a company like PS Audio, a company that cares about the way things sound and designs to that for the same or less money than you could recap a vintage amplifier we can absolutely give you a better sound 100 uh, percent take any of our amplifiers and and you will find that to be true i the carver you know so i, I guess i'm a little trapped here because I don't know what you really mean when you say vintage. Maybe that's where it goes. An amplifier that's five years old, 10 years old, well, there's some damn good amplifiers five and 10 years ago. They don't need to be recapped. There's no reason to do it. They would be a great value on the used market and they would sound terrific. And can we blow the socks off of those? No, we make better sounding ones because we've made improvements, but not by leaps and bounds as we might with a vintage amplifier with an elderly amplifier. <laughs> I hope that sort of sheds a little bit of light of where I was trying to go. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just elderly. All right. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.